Fifth grade Excel, lesson 42. We're looking at patterns today, recognizing patterns, learning the terminology, that means the words that we use, of pentagon, hexagon, and octagon, and determining figures that do or do not belong in a set. All right, this shouldn't be too tough today. Some of these uh, pattern problems are a little tricky, but I think you can handle it. These series of letters have a special pattern. See if you can figure out each pattern and then write the next letters. So on this first one here, they show you the pattern by putting this dotted line. We have A, B, C, and then we have A, B again with a D, and then we have A, B again with an E, and then A, B again. And the letter you would fill in would be an F, and then you put an A because we're going to do A, B again because it keeps doing A, B, A, B over and over again. And after that would be, another, would be the next letter of the alphabet, G, A, B, preceding that. All right, let's go ahead and give you a shot at number two. Pause the video, try number two. One letter per blank here. You're going to do a total of four letters. And then turn the video back on when you're ready to see what the solution is. All right, do you have an answer? Don't turn on the video until you have an answer. This is, might be a little tricky for you, but you need to give it your best shot. Write an answer down. Don't just copy what I write in the video. That's not going to be a good learning experience for you. All right, A, B, and B, A. C, D, and D, C. You can see that it goes A, B, and then it reverses the order. C, D, and then it reverses the order. E, F, reverses the order. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H are the next two letters of the alphabet. That goes forward, and now we're going to go backwards. So we're going to put the G here and the H there. So that's my answer for number two. Go ahead and pause the video. Try number three. Turn it back on when you're totally ready for the solution. Give it your best shot. Don't give up. These are like puzzles. You can't be... Uh, a wimp on, on getting the puzzle here. All right, here we go. So we have an A, a B here, a C here, a D here, and an E there. You can see that the alphabet is being done every other letter. What are the other letters doing? C, D, E, F. That's the alphabet also, just doesn't start on A. So the next one here is not going to come right after that one. It's going to be this pattern. It's going to be the other in-between pattern. So we went C, D, E, F, so that letter is going to be G. Now the next letter is part of this bottom pattern here. So we're doing D, E, and that would be F. And then this next letter is going to be part of that top looping pattern that I was showing you, F, G, and that's an H right there. All right, number four is pretty simple. Pause the video, do number four, and then turn it back on when you're ready for the solution. Well, we have one A, two Bs, three Cs, four Ds, five Es. And obviously, we're going to have six Fs. Uh, hopefully, you'll never get six Fs. So there we go. A polygon. Wow. I cannot tell you how many times I have really smart kids that just don't get this. So pay attention. Watch this part of the video a million times over. Bookmark this video on your computer. You're probably going to need to come back to it. This is so hard for kids. A polygon is a closed figure with three or more straight lines. A polygon is any shape that has straight lines. That is a polygon. It, the sides, well, it's not a very good job, but the sides are straight. What I mean by not polygon is something that has a curve on it, like these shapes here. These shapes are closed shapes, but they have curves. So these are not polygons. And these shapes are open. This has straight sides, but we have an opening right here. This has a curved side and it has an opening, straight sides with an opening. So these are not polygons. These are poly not polygons. These are not polygons. These are polygons. Anything with straight sides. Now, come some kids get confused on something like this and they say, that's not a polygon. Look, that side's going crooked. That has nothing to do with it. This, this side is not curvy. There's no curve to it. You can take a ruler and draw that side. So it is a polygon. You can take a ruler and draw this side and that side and that side. Now, when you get to problems on your Excel that have a whole bunch of shapes, what I want you to do first is cross out any non-polygons, okay? Any non-polygons, so you've got this, this uh, problem where it's got all these different shapes, and uh, what you're going to do first when you see is it's going to say polygon down here, blank, it's going to say rectangle, blank. What I want you to do first is find any non-polygons and cross out those shapes. Don't put P all over every one of the polygons. I don't want you to put a P here and a P there and a P there. 
No, 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 don't do that. Just leave those alone. This is not a polygon, so you're going to cross it out. All the other shapes are polygons, so you just count the rest of those and put that number where it says polygon. Do not write P all over your polygons. All right, here's pen the reason is because pentagons is what we want to put the P's on. When the, when the five sides are the same length and the angles are the same size, it is called a regular pentagon. Regular pentagons are like you can turn them around in a circle and they always look the same. They're not like short and fat or tall and skinny or anything like that. They're just like perfectly shaped. That's a regular pentagon. Pentagons have five sides. One way that I remember this, it's not a very good way, but the beginning, the, the first part of this word, penta, a lot of the, the shape names have gone. You can see gone, gone, gone. But this first part has five letters, two, three, four, five. Penta has five letters, so it has five sides. One, two, three, four, five. And it says, and by the way, this might not even be on your paper. That's okay, watch the video and uh, pay attention to this. this. is really tricky for kids, so it's important that you continue watching the video even though you don't have this on your paper in front of you. It says, put an X on the regular figures. So if a regular pentagon here has uh, all the sides the same, all the angles the same, which two of these is a regular pentagon? So you put an X on that one. That's the regular one. A hexagon has six sides. And, and by the way, when you're doing a shape problem again on your daily work, you would write a P on any shape that's a pentagon. Do not put an X on it like this lesson's asking you to do. That does make it a little confusing, doesn't it? So a hexagon has six sides. The X reminds me of the word six. It's the only number from one to 10 that has the letter X in it when you write out that number as a word. And so X, X, hexagon has six sides. And regular hexagon, you can spin it around, looks just the same. So this is our regular hexagon. But we're gonna put H's on our hexagons when we have these problems to do on our daily work. Octagon, just like an octopus, of course, has eight legs. Octagon has eight sides. And a regular octagon is like this shape right here. And I am gonna put an O on my octagons. The first letter of what the shape is is pretty much what we're gonna be putting on our shapes other than a parallelogram parallelogram we're going to put two parallel lines which look like the double L right in the middle of the parallelogram. That's what we would label those shapes with parallelogram. All right, number five, which of these uh, shapes does not belong in the set? So take a look at these four. I want you to pause the video, circle the number of the one that does not belong. All right, now that you've done that, all of these are open. This one's closed, so you should have circled the eight. That eight goes in your check answer. This is a polygon. These are not polygons because they're open. All right, read number six. Complete that. Pause the video. Turn it back on when you're ready for the solution. All right, what you notice about all of these is that they have right angles in the corners. Right angles, right angles, right angles, all the way around. These are all called rectangles. R. Let's put R's on our rectangles. Everybody write R's on there to show me that you're paying attention to the video right now. Put an R in each one of those rectangles. This is the shape that some kids get confused on. That is a rectangle. It just happens to be a square rectangle. It's not a long rectangle like these. This is the square rectangle because all four sides are congruent or the exact same length. Uh, these are not squares. I can't tell you how many kids I have putting S's on these shapes like this. These are not squares. They're just rectangles. This is a square. It's a square rectangle. So which of these belongs with all the rectangles? Of course, number six belongs with the rectangles because that's another rectangle, just like this one is a rectangle right here. Alrighty, that's it. So thanks for watching.